still loading. <laughs> there we go. All right. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. So that's us coming into town, calling our parents. Shuttle or uh, okay, nineteen ninety five. All right, and we're here. What do I do with it? And, uh, ah. Can I put it down? <laughs> Alright, well, we got the key. Alright, we got a passport. I got it to go on my Euro trip. This is my boarding pass back from my year in Europe. A spare key that was hidden under old Christmas duck. Alright, these are our bags. Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland, 270, June 6, 95. That's cool. Alright, so this is, okay, let's go in. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please, don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone mom and dad to know <laughs> we'll see each other again someday don't be worried I love you Sam what the hell well that's not a good that's uh, that's not good cool um should we bring our stuff in should uh, whatever we'll shut it it's our house turn some lights on Grab that, throw it on the ground, I don't like it. Take that, I'm mad, I don't know who Sam is, but... Can we zoom in? Oh. Alright. From... No, okay. Neat, what's all this? Good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year when we were miserable fantasizing about our own dream homes? Oh, I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a home in the woods. Look who got both. Someday. What the fuck is that? What was that? Dude! That's creepy as shit. That really is. Okay. Alright. Um. Kinda reminds me of Layers of Fear with all the uh, opening stuff. I don't mind it. Pick up one of my trophies. National Track and Field, 90. Okay. Alright. I don't understand. 
Alright, well, that side of the house is done, I think. There's our tissue box on the ground. What the f fuck, man? I don't know what kind of game this is. Is it a horror game? What is it? It doesn't sound like a good game right now. Boxes, kitchen, child's bed. Okay. This is... Oh, $2,000 to move. Dear Katie, so oh. much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. Oh. I'm at a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because yeah. you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, oh. just like I was talking to you. Is it our sister? Damn. Okay. At the new house, added to backpack. Okay. At the new house. Was that the thing we just listened to, I guess? Alright. Nothing, nothing. A writing, okay. case. Just in case. Yeah, let's, yeah, right, right there. Okay, I don't need any of this, I don't think. So I'm gonna make like a bomb in the sink or something crazy. Alright, let's go over here. Grab. I don't want to grab the marker. I don't like that noise. Whatever the freak that noise is over there. Stop it. Okay, new note. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new home. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm not going to get the phone yet because, uh... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, here. This is our family. Cool. Sam. Sam is a note that was sad on the front door. Katie. Okay, I don't know who Katie is. Mom and Dad. Jan and Terry. Katie is the one that was right... I don't know. I don't know. Should we go, uh... Open this door? Okay. So, forestry service. Senior can serve. Okay. Janet, the mom, maybe? Okay, high school. Oh, wait, what? No, I don't want to pull a string. Over the Alps, a novel tro. Ooh! That sounds cool. Everybody should play that game. A little fancy and it'll be way fun. Alright, well, there's a door over there. Should we try to open that door too? <laughs> no. Okay, you're locked. Be creepy. Alright, let's listen to, uh, yeah. Sam. Sam. <laughs> Sam. Okay. Should we do another one? Sam, where are you? Oh. Really? Oh. I need to talk to you. What's happening? Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. That's us. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. That's our love. Like, really, um... seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. That was the beginning of the game. All right. Okay, let's go in this way. Oh my 
god. Why so creepy? Oh, really? What? Check all your locations in the house. What's that? Heavens to Betsy. I hope that you're excited about your first day in high school as we are, okay? Classes. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because <laughs> now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Hey, it's her. <sighs> Great. I think it's us. Maybe. I don't know who that is. Wait, I think there's a note. Read obituary. I wonder who that is. Come. Mm. Mm. Okay. I hear a news thing going off somewhere. It's very dark in this place. What is this? Say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of speculation, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in your okay, no. <laughs> uh, notes, notes, notes. I love this lamp. See this lamp? Badass. Love it. That's fantastic. I want one. My grandma used to have one a long time ago. Yeah, it's just. A, I think all. Offices should have it. Huh. I don't think I'm supposed to do anything with that. Oh, whoa. Back to basics. Sent to time to Dallas. 19, again, 1963. Sent back in time. Okay. What if JK wasn't dead? Okay. Early space flight. Utopia. What? JFK president. Our coalition. Japanese Lebanese Japan. Huh? You can do better. State of emergency. Hey. Okay. Uh, I don't know. A lot of all that stuff. This is. Oh, what's that? Can. Can. happen? Nothing. It's really loud though, for sure. Wire greenhouse is technically up to safety and ambage. Alright. Still trying to read and figure out what's going on. Where's our family? Like, nobody's home. We're just like, uh, no. Okay, we're done. What's that? The kit. Is there any numbers on here? Five nine nine five, maybe. Five nine nine five. Five nine nine five. Five nine nine five. Let's try it. Five, nine, nine, five. That's worth a try. Worth a try. God, it's really dark. Cool, cool library. No idea what we're doing. Like, we're just turning lights on.
found some. Greenbrier, Ter is that our dad? Is he a writer or like our family member? Because Greenbrier's our name. Stranger under my roof. What? Uh, who's this by? Medina. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God, alright. Um. Let's go down. Or should we keep going this way? Oh, here's the TV. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds with torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties: Austin County, Boone County, Dawn County, Tecumseh County, and Wisteria County. Residents are strongly urged to stay indoors. Help me look for stuff. Oh god, it's loud. TV, I gotta turn this off. This is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather Service reports Sam thought this might help, Dad. You know that feeling? Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till oh, I noticed she, she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Okay, she has a crush, I think. Closed. Pioneer unit. Okay. CD player. Cool painting. I tried, I tried. The X Files. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> See what he's watching. Boy, me these are all real things. Step by step. <laughs> Labyrinth. Oh, man. Robocop. America's funniest home video. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude. Okay, I'm leaving. My childhood. Alright, are we done in? Nope. I got to see how much pizza's left. Oh! Y'all! You ate all the pizza! How could you? Why'd you eat all the pizza? <laughs> it might be really old. Where is everybody? People, please. Alright, we're gonna keep, um, I don't know, roaming around? Wait, is there a fort in here? 
cool is this shit? What is this shit? Poltergeist and hauntings. This is a horror book. of the world Samantha Greenbrier great story turtle people part one I love it it went on forever so it seems someday she would find the edge and kick to the paradise there then she heard a cannon fire boom it was black by her ship she yelled I thought we lost him at horse island the first mate said looks like you thought too soon the black ship came up along the side Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black oh god <laughs> you're never gonna find the edge god this is great there ain't no paradise and your father were a liar captain allegra yelled back then why do you keep following us you imbecile the first mate yelled out we'll stop you captain black we'll find the edge of the world and you'll see and you'll see her father was no liar Battle kept going on until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Oh, this is awesome. I want more stories. Please. Okay. We reached into the house. Now what? Wait, wait, wait. Can we go in here? Hold on. The fireplace sneaking. Okay. Um... Damn, there's more of the house. Have mercy. Forestry. We okay. One of the family members is forestry. Coupons for what? Just uh, everything. That's good. Coupons. Oh. Shit. Creepy ass noises, man. Oh, this place is. Neat. It's really disconcerting how quiet and there's just no one here. I don't like it. Alright. Uh, unable to publish your follow-up to the excellent pariah. Oh, he's not going to get a follow-up. They won't let him write it. Or they don't want it at least. Okay. Okay. September 1st, 1939. Isa. Oh, God. <laughs> Her heart races. The lining of the uterus is getting thick. What the hell? I'll let y'all read this, too. Of those. 
Oh, those are both his books. There's one of them, there's the other. That sucks. What are we doing here? I'm leaving. Uh, it's a big ass house. Please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. What? What's happening? What's our family doing? So if you wanted to come over to my house still in the afternoon, that would be kind of okay. Oh, Street Fighter time. That's awesome. Look at the drawing down there. <laughs> That's so you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. Okay. She's coming over tomorrow. Cool. All right. Well, that's locked. We're done exploring, I think. We're going to go upstairs. What if there's a run button? Nope. Oh, wait. I see a door over there. That's locked. We're going up. Burn scheduled for Boone County. <laughs> it's probably for that forestry person. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Cool. Alright, there's notes are there. I have a feeling I have to take this somewhere. Oh, okay. Street Fighter, Lightning Kick, Helicopter Kick, Air Stomp, Fireball, that's awesome. Those are all true. If you uh, actually play this way, I think it's exactly it. Where do I put it? Where's it go? Journal. Oh, dude. Journey of Crystal.
here's the second part of her story. I'll let you read it too. Skeletal in rotted robes, the king was hunched over the blue orb, topping his royal scepter. Awesome. <laughs> I like the stories, are not She didn't take her, or maybe she did. Or wait, no, she definitely did. So why didn't she? Uh, all right. Institute of Art. Rain. Pirates, that's where your story grab Steggy, Steli. What else have we got? Alright, a bike. I want to believe that's awesome because the X-Files. Okay. Can we get here? Damn it. What is this? Alright, let's see. I haven't had that much to drink. Jody Foster. Oh, this is hilarious. How many fingers am I holding up? Better not have been reading my secret diary again. Uh here you go, mitten. Have some pate. Gross. Meow. Okay. That's that's uh that's awesome. What the freak happened here? Oh, it's die. when they're trying to eat oh god okay that's part that's the movie what's that say gotcha oh wow 
low. There's so many stupid drawers. Looks like they were they left in a rush, doesn't it? Mitten. Okay. All right. Um. Controlled. That is so scary. Alright. Sorry guys, I had the microphone away from my face. I just realized. That's why I've been mumbling probably for the last 20 minutes. Alright. Okay, I don't know what to do in here. I mean, I don't even know- what's- That's neat. Okay, that's really neat. But, what are we supposed to be doing? How's that noise, by the way? That's a horrible noise. God, this house is big. I, I mean it. This house is stupid big. Jeez. Nothing to pick up. Okay. Nothing? Let's go in here. Um. Candles, bathroom. After the honeymoon. Alrighty. Check, check. Um. Okay. Why is mom too much? Sorry, that's strange. Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you and stay in over the summer, but you came home in such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needed anymore. What the f- There's no light switch, damn it. Sounds like our sister took the sh- the light just left. What is this? The tall shadows and upstairs. When I rounded the cover, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? I was not wearing my glasses. September 3rd. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs said, Hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. Oh, God. The 9th. Poured milk from carton in fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. What? Lonnie says she feels her presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow for it. <laughs> we saw that in the living room. October 22nd. Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages were conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Oh God. October 28th, 1944. 10 p.m. October 29th. 4 a.m. Endless 
requested Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remain unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in attic. Probably leaky roof. <laughs> Sample taken just in case. Despite <coughs> due to our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. That was awesome. Cool. Hey Sam, you were asking what my JRTC ribbon meant. Here is a handy guide. Orienteering? Rifle team? Orienteering? I've never even heard of that. Adventure training. I am a born adventurous and... Oh god, okay. Okay. <laughs> I used to know somebody in JRTC named Sam. It was a chick. Okay, what the heck? We're done in here. Let's go. Another thing. Is there a tape anywhere? <laughs> the misfits. Don't forget your costume. Stygian Lounge, 10 29, 9 p.m. See you there, downtown. Yeah. It's awesome. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. That's awesome. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad's situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. <laughs> Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. That's I felt awesome. tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Oh, dude, that's badass. Okay, insert. What is it? Oh no. Uh, no, just no. Too loud. Where's the lights? I don't understand what to happen in this game. This is the craziest shit ever. Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage and it was Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Wait, library, wait, hold, what? Oh my god, I have got to see this. We're skipping six. Wait, what the fuck? Hold on. Um, so you go, library. What? It's under the stairs. Okay, I'm totally down. Going to find a freaking treasure chest. Yeah. Turn the lights on. Shit. Whoa, how did this get here? Was that did that like pop out when I did that thing? Whoa. Okay. Oh. Oh whoa. Oh dude, check it. It's her characters. Your costume, my costume. Oh, I want another story. Is there any more stories? Pick up because yeah. oh man. Is it empty? Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> That's awesome. Shall we go downstairs and find the uh secret? Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Uh, well, uh, I'll be back then. We're gonna go to the attic in the next one, but right now we're gonna go find that secret. Okay, how do we get downstairs? Ooh, that was scary. Okay. Library, bathroom, stairs. Was it 
right here, right here, right here, right. Oh man. Ooh, question mark. <gasps> what the fuck? Right. Check it. Oh my god. Oh, it's creepy shitness. Oh, why? I knew it was a horror thing. Possession and exorcism. Dude. That's creepy. Like, Christine Quinn interacting with the supernatural and releasing unwanted spirits. Oh, dear God. Noted psychologist. Christine Quinn guides a reader through the de detection of spirit possession in oneself and others. The, re the release of dispatch. Or oh my god, I don't want to read it anymore. It's just. Nope, we're leaving. Head key. Oh, attic key. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. Oh! Wait. I knew where there's another candle. We found one earlier. The food's... <laughs> like a little secret munchie stash. All right, well now what do we do? Is this open yet? Nope. Should we go back to the attic? Oh, what's that? On the next episode, guys, we're going in the attic. Thanks for joining me for, uh, what is this? Gone Home, I think. And I think it's a scary game. I'm not sure. I'm creeped out because our parents and our family is gone. <laughs> but, uh, next time we might do a face cam. And, uh, we'll light the candles and make it all creepy and shit. So, y'all have a great day. Thanks for coming out on Mixer. Epic Tommy Owen. Bye, y'all.